Before starting this tutorial, if you're needing a more detailed way to edit your backing track to suit your video edit, then please check out our other video tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to easily change the duration of a backing track so that it fills out and goes behind your video edit. So you can see here as an example, I have a backing track. But that backing track fades out and I have this mount of my video edit that doesn't have any music behind it. So to do this, we're going to use Audition. Right click on your music track and choose Edit Clip in Adobe Audition. Here's our music track. So to edit this, let's choose File, New, Multi-Track Session, and I'm going to call this Hip Hop Remix 1. Click the Browse button. Make sure to save this in a folder that you can find later on. I'm going to save it in my Backing Music folder. Click Choose. Make sure your sample rate is set to 48,000, your bit depth is 32, and your master is stereo. Click OK. And here's our multi-track session. Now drag your backing music over, put it in the first track, double check that it plays. Okay, so we can see that our song goes for about 26 seconds here. So we wanna change the length of this, the duration. To remix your audio track, right click on it, Go down to Remix and choose Enable Remix. And Audition will analyze the clip here, listening to the song and working out how to adjust it. So usually to change the length of an audio file, you go to the right side here and drag it back left like this, but this effectively cuts it. I'll undo that. Instead, move your mouse up to the top here and you'll notice that you get a little Remix pop up. This is a little Remix slider. Slide this to the left. And you'll notice that Audition does some cutting up and reassembling. And you can notice a little cut and reassembly line here by a little diagonal zigzag line. This is where it's actually joined two pieces of the song together. If I push play, have a listen when it goes over this transition line. It's, it's like magic. There is no way that I can even tell that that's been remixed. And we can go the other way. Let's make the song even longer. got about a minute long. And you'll notice that we have more of these zigzag lines. You can see that there's about eight of them there. There's one at the beginning. Let's have a listen to this one. That's really intelligent. It's super impressive. Okay, so you can go down here and there's some slider options down here and you can change the minimum loop. So this is set to eight beats. You can set the minimum loop to be higher, like 26, 27 beats, and you'll notice that it's actually widening the gaps between these zigzag lines. Take it up higher. Gives you bigger pieces and really small transition changes there. I take it back down. Four beats, more pieces. If you hover over these sliders, you'll get an explanation of what each one does. So this one uses more segments that are closer to each other. So I'll take this down this way, and it changes it up a little bit here. So this is something you want to actually slide and change and have a listen to your track and see if it changes anything for better or for worse. So I'll put this back up to eight beats. So this is something you can experiment with, but for this tutorial, I'm just going to show you how to adjust the length. So we need to go down to 35 seconds. Okay, so let's slide this down to 35 seconds to about there. If I zoom in, you'll notice that it's not actually going to 35 seconds. And let's go down a little bit further. That's closer. I can't really get it to be exactly right. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna go here to target duration, type in 35. It's pretty close, but it goes a little bit further. So the way to help this is to come down and tick the stretch to exact duration box. And here we get 35 seconds. But you can see that this audio track is a little bit of a fade out. And I'd like the song to actually go 35 seconds to this part here. So now let's adjust this. Let's go 36 seconds. That's getting a little bit closer. Let's go 37 seconds. 38. That's a little bit too long. So let's go 37.5. Okay, that looks pretty much bang on there. 
Okay, so we've adjusted our song, remixed it. Now let's export this. Click File, Export, Multi-Track Mix Down, Entire Session. And I'm going to call this Hip Hop Remix Final One. Choose where to save this by clicking the Browse button. And I'm going to save this in my backing music folder. Click Save. Choose if you'd like it to be WAV or MP3. I'll stay with WAV. And click OK. Audition's exported it. Now let's return back to Premiere. And now I need to import this new audio file. So click File, Import. And here's my finished file. I'll click Import. And now I'll drag this file over, place it down. And you'll see here that it's matched exactly with the length of the video. So I can delete this first track, bring it up, push play, and have a listen. So that works really well. So the Remix tool is helpful for shortening and lengthening your backing track. Maybe your video is much longer, maybe it's much shorter. So experiment with Audition. Bring your track in here, enable Remix, and adjust these sliders and the target duration and stretch into exact duration if you need that as well. Experiment, playback as you're editing to double check there's any inconsistencies or any harsh or sudden transitions from piece to piece. Export your file and put it back into Premiere.